Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today we're gonna talk about the difference between cardio days and lifting days, and maybe how you wanna structure your week of programming. Now, I've got the whiteboard behind me, and I've got two separate colors, one for lifting and one for cardio. Um, let's say lifting is red, because that's pretty red, amped. Okay, let's say my goal is just to have the best body that I can. So I'm gonna need to maximize my muscle growth and maximize my weight loss, my fat loss, not my weight loss, but my fat loss. Um, so I'm probably gonna say you gotta work out four times a week. You gotta, you gotta lift four times a week, sorry. That's, that's the only kind of workout, I guess, in my mind. So let's say we're gonna lift, lift, red. Lifting will be on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Hopefully you can see that. That is a dim, dim red. I apologize. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, our cardio then. Oh man, that's easier to see, ain't it? Purple. Cardio then can fill in other days. Now, it's not that I have to do it on just those free days. And it kind of depends on how I choose to do it. So there's basically two different ways that um, the American College of Sports Medicine is recommending that you do your aerobic stuff. It's either three times a week of vigorous exercise uh, for 30 to 60 minutes or it's five or more times per week of moderately hard exercise for 30 to 60 minutes. So why would I choose one over the other? Well, if I feel like I'm super fit and I don't have that much time and I'm really motivated to do this, then I might go for the three times a week, vigorous exercise. I'm gonna go in there, maybe 30 minutes. I'm just gonna push it really hard and maybe that'll be enough. Now, the, the issue is that sometimes people will do this and they'll break down. They won't really last for very long. Um, I am definitely one of those types of people. A lot of the clients that are attracted to training with me, this cerebralness, uh, they are the same way, right? They have these, these troubles pushing their bodies. So, especially when they start to get fatigued, their technique is compromised. We talked about that already in a previous video. So, for my situation, I might try to do more frequency, more amounts of, or higher frequency of training. So I might go for the five times a week, moderately hard intensity, and maybe do 30 or 60 minutes there. Um, so for something like that, I, I would definitely want to put it on these off days. You could take one of your days totally off, that is a way that I recommend people do it sometimes. Um, and I could double up on Monday and Friday, Saturday, maybe. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I could, I could put it on Wednesday. I could do it on Sunday and not do it on Saturday. That'd be fine too. Not really like, it's not really that big a deal. You don't have to be super weird about that. Now, the idea here is that I don't want to just go into the gym and try to do everything. I can't do my cardio day and my gym day at the same time because those are somewhat competing demands. Um, the, uh, the molecular signaling that signals uh, muscle growth actually inhibits cardiovascular growth and vice versa. I, I think vice versa, but 
the, the lesson being if I have a cardio workout, it's going to inhibit some of my muscle building. So I want to separate those things. I want to maximize the muscle building from my lifting workouts. And then I want to take a nice long break and then I can do my, my cardio stuff. So if I do get stuck doing like this Monday, for example, I have a lift first and then I have a cardio later. I'd want there to be a good chunk of time between those, maybe at least eight hours. This allows my calcium to come back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum so my muscles are working again. It, it gives my muscles time to build and use that signaling that we had that say, hey, we're going to need some more muscle around here. We better build it. Um, yeah, so this is how, you know, how you program a week of training. Break your week up into lifting days and cardio days and decide from there how you're going to structure the rest of your programming based on the goals that you're trying to accomplish.